Stop 9. Brimmer Point. Brimmer Point has one of the most spectacular vistas in the park. From this vantage point, high above the reservoir, you can see miles of shoreline dotted with sand and rock beaches and hidden coves along Lakeshore Drive. Standing quietly on the point, you may even hear the calls of a hawk or eagle as it rides the wind currents along the bluffs. Looking to the north, you will see the park's conservation area, which gives you a pretty good idea of what this entire area looked like before development. For years after the park was completed, starting in 1935, people from the local communities held a water carnival in late summer. There were speedboat races, rowing contests, and a swimming competition. Visitors came from all over to watch the bathing beauty contest, which was always one of the more popular events. A number of carnival activities actually were held at Brimmer Point. One event that lasted for only the first few years was the pushing of a car off Brimmer Point into the reservoir. Park managers quickly put a stop to the event. Other stunts, however, were soon devised. During one carnival, a man strung a cable all the way across the reservoir from Brimmer Point. His proclaimed intention was to slide down the cable until he got over the middle of the reservoir, at which time he would let go of the cable and drop well over a hundred feet into the water. The crowd gathered with anticipation to watch. When the appointed time came, it appeared as though the event took place without a hitch. The crowd gasped as they watched what they believed was the man dropping from the wire and splashing into the water. But in reality, a dummy was sent down the cable. The man hid under a blanket in a boat positioned to recover him after his fall. When the dummy was pulled from the water, the man jumped out from underneath a blanket, pretending to have survived his death-defying feat, to the cheers of onlookers who were fooled by the hooks.